Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. Uh, this is a trip we took in late May of 2022 off the coast of Maryland. Went about 30 miles into the ocean for uh, some sea bass on some wrecks. Uh, we found the structure we were looking for, but we uh, could not connect to the fish, at least for the first half an hour. The Mincota Terrello was doing a great job. We were marking lots of fish, but just could not connect. But we stayed persistent, and as you'll see, the bite ended up picking up pretty well. Of course, the lady on board was the first one to get the first fish. It was a nice 17 inch sea bass on bait. She was bottom fishing. She got the biggest fish of the day. I think this was one of the uh, biggest fish of the day. And as you'll see, the bite continued to just pick up and get better and better as the day went on. So you'll see in the next clip here, we were again bottom fishing and uh, I got a bite. You'll see it here in the next clip. I got a bite and the fish immediately dove and took me down into the wreck. I didn't know what was going on at first, but you'll see that my uh, pretty large extra heavy rod just ended up snapping right in half on that fish. Let's see that one more time. Pretty dangerous. So happy that did not hit me or her in the face. But it gave me the opportunity to switch to vertical jigging, and you'll see that paid off pretty well with the first uh, fish for me of the day on a sea bass jig. Really nice fish here on the jig, so as opposed to uh, tying up another bottom setup, I ended up using the jig, and she ended up using the bottom uh, setup, and we just took turns. You'll see in this video, we're actually going to try to keep count of uh, how many fish are caught on the jig and how many were caught on bait. Stay tuned. Yeah, you let it hit the bottom, then you pull it up, and then they hit it usually on the pole. After that first fish on the jig, the uh, bite slowed down, so I switched back to bait. And you'll see here that I got my first uh, keeper of the day on bait. And it seems like this is the point where the bite really picked up. It was right after lunch, it was around 12.30 p.m. and uh, the bite just turned on. So let's see who's keeping count at this point. At this uh, point in this video, we're both about to catch a fish. I think I'm using a uh, bottom setup, but I actually think she's jigging on the uh, port side of the boat. You'll see I bring up a keeper, and uh, shortly thereafter, she brings up a uh, keeper as well on the jig, which is pretty impressive. So here we go, first time we both hooked up in the video. We had to stop here and uh, take a picture of her with her uh, fish on the jig. Pretty impressive considering she has not jigged many times. This might be her second time jigging and she managed to do really, really well on the jig. And for those of you keeping count, we've got three fish so far on bait and two on the jig. It's getting pretty competitive. Here's another really nice 17-incher caught on bait off the bottom. 
like I said, the uh, bite really picked up after lunch, and it seems like it was fish after fish after fish for a good 20 or 30 minutes. At this point you'll see her catch a really nice fish off the bottom and I'll just let the uh, clips play and show you guys some um, unedited clip footage of some fish being caught. Really good bite, but keep an eye on those waves behind us. The waves are starting to pick up which might end our day early. That's big one. Big one. Here's a closer look at some of the larger fish that we're catching back to back at this point. One was on the jig and one was on squid on the bottom. These fish are really healthy, really large. All are over 16 inches and uh, they're very, very tasty. Here's another one back to back. That one was on the jig. Another keeper on bait at this point. We've lost track. It looks like it's nine fish on bait, five on the jig, and uh, the waves are continuing to pick up behind us. As you can see, the waves are kind of uh, the period is coming in a little faster, and the waves are getting a little a little bit larger, and the wind is starting to pick up. But we're trying to pick up a couple more keepers before we pack it up for the day. Yeah, so so we decided to go back. Yeah, the waves are picking up. It's a little bit dangerous. Got to get the trolling motor in. Most of those fish today were on the Minkova Tarova. Did a great job um, out there, 30 miles in the ocean. If you like this video and you want to see more, please like and subscribe. And we will continue to put up videos of our adventures and show you more uh, in-depth views on the Minn Kota. Thanks again. Charlie Motor kept us in one spot.